Namaste. Namaste, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum Ajay Hey, Kaisei Hey Up. And today we're going to be reacting to 10 incredible creepy mysteries from India. So this one was sent to us. I People know that Anjali and I love doing stuff about temples and learning more of the history stuff. Yeah. Jaden Jaden likes action songs where he can dance, where we have to move the furniture for him. He likes moving more than. Yeah, he likes lots of movement. But Anjali and I love learning more about the culture, learning a little bit. This sounds really exciting. Historical I'm, background. I'm, yeah, historical stuff, the temples. Um, you know, so we really enjoy this and food. That's the other one we like to do is yeah. food videos. So we're really excited to see what incredible creepy mysteries come from India and does it involve aliens? Cause aliens. that's what the history channel seems to think when all these wonderful things go unsolved, nobody knows how they, these t beautiful temples got built. Somehow aliens came down, but I don't believe that no. India is just a beautiful country with very rich culture and Lots of knowledge that just came from, you know, smart people, yeah. I think. So, anyways, let's start this up. Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. India has been called the land of mysteries since time immemorial, whether for its various it's enigmatic wrong. natural oh, phenomena yeah. or eccentricities associated with its religions mm -hmm. and culture. And while science has worked hard to debunk and find a logical reason behind every riddle, <laughs> there still remain some that give rationalists a no run idea. for their money. No. Aliens Number came, 10, right? the village of twins. The village of twins. There are some places in the world that just take everything science thinks it knows and shreds that rule book to pieces. <laughs> One such place is a small, unprepossessing village in India, which boasts a birth rate of twins so high it borders on the impossible. Wow. On the surface, there's nothing That's remarkable big. about Kodini, a modest settlement in Kerala, India. It's home to around 2,000 families. But the remarkable thing is that there are at least 400 pairs of twins in those families. Wow. What's the explanation for this That's one then, crazy. science? Yes, in short, science. there really isn't one. <laughs> Not that scientists haven't tried. Experts who have visited the remote tropical village of Kodini and Kerala have been left scratching their heads over the phenomenon that has seen almost six times as many wow. twins born than the global That's average. It twins. is estimated that the number of twins born in the village is increasing every year, and no one really knows why. <laughs> Number nine, the Jodhpur boom. In the quaint town of Jodhpur, mm, Rajasthan, really residents great. were preparing for bed while others were already asleep when they were jolted out of their stupor by a terrific boom. It was so loud that it sent panic waves among the scared residents that they were under some sort of attack. The citizens were concerned about the sound and asked around about it, but it soon turned out that no planes had been flying over the area and no explosions had taken place. The source of the Jodhpur boom was a complete mystery. The weirdest part is that it appears that the entire month was littered with strange, unexplained booms all over the world, from United Kingdom oh. to Texas. Were these strange Texas. sounds all over the world connected somehow? Was it some strange mm. new weapon, or an alien attack, or maybe even a See? miracle <laughs> aliens. Perhaps one Just day, we'll find out. <laughs> Number 8. Perhaps the Nine the Unknown now. Men The Nine Unknown Men are to India what the Illuminati is to the Western world but even more pervasive and mysterious. According to legend, this powerful secret society was found by Emperor Asoka in 273 BC after a bloody battle that took the lives of 100,000 men. The function of the nine unknown men was to preserve and develop the sort of secret information that would be too dangerous in the hands of the uninitiated. Each of the nine was tasked mm. with holding a special book of knowledge, ranging of from propaganda yeah. to microbiology. Some of them are even wow. said to hold the secrets of anti-gravity and time travel. Occasionally, some of this Ooh. precious information leaks out what, into yeah, the world. For instance, it is said that the martial art of judo was based on leaks from the book of physiology. The number of unknown men is always nine, and their undisguised contacts with the outside world are few and far between. Much like the Illuminati, hmm. there are many rumors about their current and past members. Strangely enough, not all of them are Indian. The unknown men are apparently spread all oh, over the world, with some of them allegedly holding very prominent positions. 
Among suspected members of the Nine Unknown are the influential 10th century Pope Sylvester II and Vikram Sarabi, the scientist who created India's budding wow, space program. That's amazing. Yeah. Number seven, the Great Taj Mahal Conspiracy. For centuries, the Taj Mahal has been recognized as the glittering triumph of Mughal architecture and a flamboyant monument to romantic love. Commissioned in 1623 by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, the white marble masterpiece in Agra was designed as an epic mausoleum for his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Or was it? According to some theories, Taj Mahal had been constructed in 1155, before Muslim invaders came to India and said it had originally been a temple called Tejo Mahalaya, dedicated Shiva. to the Hindu god Shiva. While this may seem far-fetched to those of us who like Taj Mahal as it is, it's worth noting that Indian royalty have a history of capturing enemy temples and mansions and, and repurposing them. them into tombs for their loved ones. Is Taj Mahal the ultimate display of romance? Just a giant lie created by shoddy historians and propagandists? Until the Indian government agrees to open the sealed rooms within the building so they can be thoroughly investigated by experts, the mystery the remains. First one? No. Number 6. The Cursed Village of Kuldara A little over 20 kilometers to the west of the desert town of Jaisalamar in Rajasthan yeah. lies Kuldara. As one takes the dusty road that leads to it, you can notice the scant presence of human existence. The vegetation is minimal. The meek straying goats have probably feasted on the last bits. When you reach the ruined gates of the town, Kuldara stands desolate and an uncanny silence prevails all around. This village was abandoned by its people 200 years ago. Hmm. But why? For over 500 years, the village of Kuldara was populated by about 1,500 residents. One night, they all disappeared. What? They didn't die or get abducted or anything, they just left. The reason for their sudden evacuation is lost in time. Some say they fled the taxation of an mm, oppressive ruler, sense. while others weave a tale of young lovers and the girl's angry father who was a big shot at the village. Whatever Everybody, the actual cause of desertion, yeah. one thing is generally agreed upon. When the villagers left, they cursed the area <laughs> so that no one may live there ever again. Mm. According to legend, all who tried mm. died a brutal death. Some of the people who have died in there are said to still haunt the village, according to paranormal investigators who have experienced nope. some very strange nope. events in the place. I, I believe it remains no, deserted to this know. very day, mm -mm. and no, no one has <laughs> even considered repopulating it for a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't want to go Number back five, and live there. Magnetic Hill. Whether you are an avid traveler or a hardcore rider who loves to explore new trails on a bike, Ladakh in India is the name you will be familiar with. Mm -hmm. And since this tourist destination has a distinct hype among travelers, you must have also heard about the magnetic hills. Known to pull the vehicles, this magnificent wow. hill lies on the way from Srinagar to Leh Highway. Believe it or not, this small stretch of magnetic hill perfectly defines the phenomenon of gravity. To confirm the fact, you can turn off your car, and while on neutral, you will realize that your car is moving without your efforts wow, at the speed of 12.5 cool. miles per hour. Yeah, However, there are many stories related to Magnetic Hill. Some are superstitious. Interesting, isn't it? Number 4. <laughs> Immortal Beings of the Himalayas In many mythologies, mountains are natural homes to divine and immortal beings. Right. As Maybe such, you know? it's no surprise yeah. that the world's mightiest mountain range, the Himalayas, is subject to whisperings of mysterious beings hidden away in the valleys of the mountains. One popular legend among practitioners of various New Age soul-searching methods is Gian Ganj. Gian Ganj is believed to be an antediluvian Indian and Tibet tale of a city kingdom of enigmatic eternal beings that remained concealed from the world. However, the immortal, enlightened sadhus and mahatmas that inhabit it are all too happy to let in a visitor every now and then, perhaps even sharing some of their wisdom with them. Many influential gurus and mystics have claimed the source of their knowledge of the arcane comes from visits to this mysterious place. Number 3. The Boot Beelie wow. Have you ever heard about the unsolved mystery of Boot Beelie? This is not a tale, but a case no, of the mysterious no. existence of a cryptic cat, as explained <gasps> by the residents of Pune. Is. Popularly known as the ghost Pune. cat, the boot Pune. is a creature which is said to have been reported in an area near Pune. At times, local residents in the area have reported about having seen the ghost cat consuming like up to 45 <gasps> pigeons and a goat on Ew. different timings. The sightings of the unusual cat, cat have been reported in an area known as Sanjay Park, which is 100 like miles away from Mumbai. 
According to eyewitnesses, like, oh. it's fat yeah, it looks and like broad that. with a long tail, black in color, has a face like a dog, and back like a mongoose. Hmm. Its size is described as smaller than a lion, but bigger than a hyena. To date, no one so knows what the creature really is. Number two, so like the Conca La Paz UFO base. Like, oh Unidentified flying objects, <laughs> UFOs, or go, extraterrestrial UFOs objects again. have always Aliens. fascinated mankind. Mm -hmm. The curiosity to know about other life has made the area around Conca La Paz quite mysterious. Conca La Paz is a low ridge disputed pass that bifurcates the Indian and the Chinese borders. It is also the pass on which the India-China War was fought in 1962. No permanent settlements an entirely inaccessible region, and a no-man's land are what Conca La Pass encompasses. Reportedly, the Conca La Pass holds a series of massive hidden underground constructs that UFOs, particularly those of the flying saucer type, use as their base of operations. Really? Many travelers and residents of nearby UFO, areas have claimed that really UFOs cool are a like common sight in the area, the rising yeah. from their underground yeah. layers and descending back once they've done whatever it is UFOs go out to do. People say hmm. both Chinese and Indian governments are very aware of what's going on and may even be cooperating with the extraterrestrials said to pilot the mysterious airships. Indeed, <laughs> Google Earth has revealed that some supposed underground entrances have what look a lot like military facilities built around them. Number 1. Shanti Dev Shanti Dev was born in a happy Delhi family in 1930s. However, she didn't stay happy for long. When she was four years old, she started insisting that her mother and father were not her true parents. She claimed that her name was actually Luji, and her true family lived in a completely different city. She claimed she had died giving birth to a child and gave very specific information on her husband and family life. Shanti's worried parents set out to find if there was any meaning behind their daughter's outlandish claims, and what they found out was truly unnerving. A young woman named Ludgi Devi had indeed died in childbirth at the time and in the town Shanti had specified, and the family and relatives she had described very much existed. When she eventually met her husband from That's a amazing. previous life, wow. she recognized him instantly and acted like a mother towards his child. The newspapers soon became interested, and authorities as revered as Mahatma Gandhi were soon keenly watching Shanti's case. It turned out that she was not only able to remember her past lives, but she could also remember the time in between lives, that is, the afterlife. She claimed to have met Lord Krishna Lord during Krishna. these layovers between her lives. The Lord tasked her with spreading the story of her experiences, which is why she was able to remember. Shanti Devi went on to be a scholar, teacher, and student of religion. For over 60 years, she embraced all major and quite a few minor religions' teachings, trying to determine the universal truth behind them all which was presumably the great mission she was given. Hundreds of researchers and scientists put her claims of reincarnation memories to the test, but no one was ever able to prove her a fake. Wow, these were some amazing mysteries. I wouldn't yeah. call them really creepy. They were just definitely some mysteries Mysterious. that science has no explanation for. And the for. only one I would call creepy is that ghost town. Yes, the ghost town, which we're never going there, because apparently never. you don't come out alive. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But it is strange that people just up and left, and nobody knows why. They yeah. didn't die. They just up packed their bags one night, and all, you know, 1,500 of them up and just went somewhere doo -doo. else. I guess. So, hmm. was it, but then cursed it. So, was the place cursed at maybe beforehand? Was it... But wouldn't, if they cursed it, wouldn't that just either make it more cursed or would it like... Well, I just wonder, did it have all these weird mysteries? Was it... Beforehand. Beforehand, and that's why people were like, we can't live here anymore, it's too creepy? Or, like they said, maybe it was just a, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the reasoning behind them up and leaving on all at once one night. Yeah. Um... The tax thing I get, though, like back in the day, you know, we've mm -hmm. seen some stuff. I could understand that, like evading the tax. Um, but then where did they go? Yeah. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. I love the twins in the town, The though. twin was really cool. Because, yeah. like, there were so many twins there. It said 400 pairs, so I'm guessing 800 people that were twins. In a town that only had 2,000 people in it. So that's almost half, if that's true. If, they, if that that's doubles. That's a lot. 
That's unbelievable amount of twins in one area. And that science tried to figure out, is there something in the region? Is there something dun, in the water? <laughs> is there something? And they couldn't figure anything out. Nope. So, you know, sometimes you just have to leave it, you know, to God and Lord Krishna. Let Ram, it be what it has to knows, be. Who knows what happened? Yeah. There's sometimes there, it's okay that there's no explanation for it. Something like that is it's not It's not harming. the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. But I know science likes to figure it out. Um you know, and sometimes it's it's for good. You know, there's a lot of Chandrian. There's a lot of good things have come from science, but sometimes these things, you just have to let go. That somebody in a higher being is probably in charge, and mm -hmm. you just don't know the answer to it, and that's okay. The um, my ultimate favorite one is the end. The little girl who came from a past life and that remembers was so her past cool life. because I keep talking about how. When I die, when I, like, because I believe in re reincarnation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I re reborn, I want to have, like, my brain with me. Like, I want to remember all my thoughts and everything. You want to so, remember this life when yeah. you get reborn. Yeah. I feel like for most people, because we believe that, like, you don't remember. But mm -hmm. in this time... She was like, Krishna told me I was going to be able to remember. It and she came so back cool. to, you know, kind of find going through not just, you know, Hindu religion, but different religions to find some yeah. kind of connection to all of this and like higher beings. And yeah, you, you know, you get I feel like when you meet somebody and you have instant connection that you have known them in a past life. But to be able for her to remember the in-between, that was awesome amazing oh, like, yeah, yeah that, so like when you go next to somebody and you make friends with them and they just like click mm -hmm. that's when you know like i'm pretty sure we were friends in like a past in a life, life or like something happened in that past yeah. life but that's just crazy how she remembers her like remembers. whole life yeah so some of these are just unbelievably amazing and coming yeah. from a wonderful place called india um the taj mahal i after seeing some of these other um, temples and learning some of the history, I'm, I'm probably pretty sure there's a Hindu temple under that. The Taj Mahal is beautiful, but um, a lot of these Hindu temples are also beautiful. Yeah. And so and that I, pro I do believe is true. But um, these are the kind of things, I, you know, that make India different, that make India special. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this stuff is unexplainable, like how the temples survive for many thousands yeah. of years, how they survive earthquakes, how they get built, how they get built where the sun goes in between the windows. That was like, so cool. Such great, you know, um, engineering and math. And, and culture. Yeah, that came from so far back. And even after a lot of it being destroyed and burned and country and it's coming up to be one of the next big countries so it's yes. just amazing so keep the culture and keep growing it's um you know one of those great places and we can't wait to come so i'm so excited yes i want to go one of these days hopefully next year hopefully 2020 will be the year that we'll visit india um i hope you guys like this video as much as we did and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful jan family and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.